Hello everyone, in this video I will share with you my experience with the new FreeFlight Pro 5.2 and the added features. Before I can begin I need to download some footage from the drone to my mobile phone in order to conduct the review because the review uses footage which you have taken with your drone. Once your phone has completed downloading the files, you can either keep the files on the drone so you can download it to your computer later, or you can delete them if you're not going to use them again. Now to access the new features added to 5.2, simply tap on the menu and go to gallery. This is something that I find very useful and I think is a very good improvement. The gallery user interface is fairly simple and easy to navigate, so I think this is a plus. You can view your pictures, videos, you can also share them directly by tapping on the top right hand corner share and share them directly to your social media platforms. Okay, let's get started with the awesome bits. Tap on create a best of, then select your video or videos. Once you have selected the videos that you want to use, tap on the bottom right hand side, create a best of, and this will generate a film for you automatically. If you have a GoPro or you've been using GoPro Quick, you will find some um, similarities with this software as it does uh, pretty much the same thing, combining clip it, clips in the videos and putting them into one shot montage of the entire um, sequence with some music. I think that was pretty neat that the software did on its own. Um, once you have finished previewing what the software has created, you can export this and save it as an mp4 file for your archives. Once that is completed, you can share that video to your social media platforms or you can continue and go back into editing. To do further editing, you will need to use the flight director. At the moment, you will be able to use this as a demo, so I would recommend using the demo first before buying it, so you are fully aware of its functions, its capabilities, and its compatibility with your device. The first thing you will do in flight director is select your maximum video duration. The second thing you will do is select a style. So the different styles will have a different set of transitions and layout. The next thing you will do is add your music. You can use the preset default music or you can add your music simply tapping the plus button and browsing your phone for your music. The next part of this process is called moments. Uh, what they mean by moments is you can select certain sections of the video just by tapping on the little heart over the timeline and this will create a highlight of that short area on your clip and then compile them into one clip. If you don't want to do this, that's fine because the software will automatically generate portions from your clip anyways. And then we go on to the interesting part, which is, yep, you see it, it's flight data. Um, I was very excited at first, but then I was disappointed because the flight data only overlays your maximum speed and your maximum altitude with the location and a map. It is not interactive. It will only overlay those specific details. There's no constant overlay and interactive information produced through the flight data. I guess this makes sense because they only make a short clip and they take portions of the clip. So to overlay the entire data, they would have to overlay the video first, then put that video in, then chop up the video and make your small video. So I hope that Parrot, if you're watching this, in the future, have the ability to overlay the complete flight data over a full video and then choose, and then the user is able to choose what they want to do after that. Okay, back to the post. Um, depending on your hardware specification, uh, your phone processor and your phone RAM or your tablet specifications this will determine the amount of time it will take to process your video. So be patient if you have a slow device and if you have a really slow device, it may crash. This is obvious in, in many applications, so be wary of that. Before you purchase it, it is always wise to test the demo, test all the features, export a video, replay that video and see if everything was embedded in the video as you previewed it from the software. Once you're satisfied with that and you don't mind it only displaying the short 
telemetry data which is your maximum altitude maximum speed um, a static map and um, your geographic location if you are still content with just that bit of information then by all means go ahead and buy the app because it's i, I think it's it's convenient for users to have that ability on the go on their devices instead of bringing it home and putting it on a computer and chopping it up so i think this is a plus just my only downside is the inability to have the interactive telemetry data over the video all right enough with that rant that was a bit of a rant i know and i do apologize i just wanted to make sure that you are aware uh, of everything i found out with this software before you go ahead and purchase it so test everything in the demo version the demo version is 100 percent the same as the purchase version i did end up purchasing the software so i can show all of you viewers the exact workings and the mechanics um, of a working purchased um, version so without further ado here are some samples created by the new software of free flight pro flight director <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and if you would like to support my videos please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon to stay up to date with my uploads until next time fly safe and god bless